good evening. Welcome back to Chocolaca Park here in Oxford, Alabama, as we are rounding out the day of baseball. We have finished day four of Park and Rec State Championships. At this time, we are honored to have with us the Coleman 6U 7A State Champs. Coach, uh, it's been a great tournament in our eyes. It's been a long tournament for the coaches. It's been a hot tournament. It's been a lot of baseball play. Take us through what you guys got to experience this week. Uh, first off, we got down here Thursday for the pool game, and all of our team stayed here the whole time. We we're, were about two hours away from home. And Man, first off, I'd like to thank the parents. Our, our group is just second to none. It's a, it's a special group. And, oh, uh, man, we just had so much fun this whole week with eating dinner and, and pool parties. Do we love pool parties? Yeah. yeah. Man, pool parties are fun, right? Yeah. Hey, we played our best ball today. We kept getting better and better. We were able, fortunate enough to beat a really, really good bib team, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That was a great team. And, man, I just can't be more proud of them. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, um, this, this guy right here sits you beside me. How does it feel to be able to play baseball four days, and at the end of it, you're crowned as a champion for your performance? How does it feel to be a state champion, buddy? Pretty good. <laughs> hey, you, played, you guys played a really good ball club, okay? And, the, and I saw y'all when they walked in. Both of y'all were giving each other fives. Like, like y'all had forgot all about baseball, and it was all about friends and letting them know they play good and you play good. That's what baseball is all about, okay? Um, Winning a state championship coming comes with a birth to the World Series. And as you see these fellas here, they've added a little bling to themselves. They got some beads. Um, no, we're not going to send them to New Orleans. We're going to send them to Baton Rouge. So hopefully you guys come down there. You represent the state of Alabama. That Down in Baton Rouge, there's a school called LSU. Y'all heard of it? Yeah. 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 Did we say out? Did we say roll tide or war eagle? Roll tide. Roll tide. Roll tide. So, and then we say LS who? Is that what we said? That's right. LS who? LS who? LS who? Yes. Hey, you guys have done a great job this week. What we do want to do is we want to take time. Uh, we talked to the coach, talked to coaching staff, talked to some family, talked to umpires, talked to directors. Uh, we also have to recognize. What we do, we have to recognize an individual for their performance. Uh, it's never easy being a coach to make that selection. Uh, it's never easy on us because we never want to single out anyone. But today we have to, and uh, we think this week his performance uh, was as good as anyone on his team. Okay, um, we interviewed an 11, a 12-year team a minute ago, and a, and a young man got it, and he wanted to thank his teammates because he said he didn't feel like he deserved it. He felt like his whole team deserved it. I feel the same way with the 6 U group that anybody could have got it. Coach, I think you agree with me? Yes. But um, we're going to present this MVP, MVP, excuse me, champ necklace to one player. And that player is uh, Hagen. Where's Hagen at? Hagen here. Right here, bud. <laughs> Tell us how it feels to be the man of the hour. You're the MVP. How's it feel, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, guys, a big congratulations, a big thank you. But most importantly, you said it, you hit it earlier, Coach. Yeah. There, there's so much to be thankful about outside of baseball. We got a, we got a bunch of family right there and over here looking at you. Got some great coaches. Can we give them a big thank you on the count of three and let them know how much we love them and thank them? Okay, one, two, three. I love you. I love you in there. I love you. <laughs> hey, while we're at it, the next thing we got to do is we got some daddies in the house, right? How about a happy Father's Day on three? One, two, three. Happy Father's Day. All right, my favorite thing. We got to tell everybody if you end up going to the World Series, you're going to the Bayou. So let's say. We're going to the bayou. One, two, three. We're, We're going, going to the bayou. bayou. Thank you. Great.